today because you've all got issues that are making your daily life a struggle. And the first step is coming here and the second step is sharing them so we can talk about them as a group and hopefully resolve. Still obsessed with that slapper, eh? Shut up, Sam. Josh, would you like to go first? Well, it all started about six months ago. Go back six months and I was as happy as ever. I spent a great summer with my girlfriend, made some great memories, and there wasn't much I could complain about really. Then something happened that changed everything. I was going to a party, one of the last ones before the end of the summer. I'd arranged to meet my girlfriend there after work. I arrived and I was struggling to find her. I noticed people at the party staring at me and whispering amongst themselves. Beginning to become overwhelmed with paranoia, I continued to search for her. Um, I went upstairs and started begin to assume the worst. I began searching the bedrooms. I finally got to one room and a friend of mine approached me and tried to stop me from going in, saying I wouldn't like what I'd find. I went in anyway, to find her lying in bed with some guy. Exiting the house, people noticed me becoming very upset. They started laughing and joking, telling me she'd been around with other lads that night. I was, it was demoralising. From this, I've become a frequent joke amongst my old friends and people in college. It's escalated to the point where I get constant abuse over things like my phone and Facebook. I tried ignoring it to begin with, thinking it would blow over, but it just gets worse and worse. For some reason, people find what she did to me very amusing, something they often remind me of. I'll get in touch with somebody who can help you, but for now it might help to maybe disconnect yourself from uh, social networks and maybe put your phone in a drawer for a couple of weeks and don't use it. Can I go next? It all started when I asked this guy out. Me next. It all started when I asked this guy out and he said no because he thought I was a lesbian. As if that wasn't enough, he went and told all his friends and now they pick on me and call me names. I've been called many things by people who don't even know me and ju just judge me. Rumours are just stories that people make up and you yourself know the truth and that's what's most important. Can I go? Um, my parents split up about 18 months ago. Well, my parents split up about 18 months ago. It hit me really hard. I couldn't cope with the constant arguments and I felt like I was stuck in the middle all the time and having to pick sides as well. I started comfort eating as a, as a coping mechanism and I started piling on weight. I started hating, I started hating myself. I developed bulimia to make, me lo make myself lose weight. I felt like this was the only thing in my life I could control. As my la life was falling apart around me, it started spiralling out of control. I lost five stone in four months, and it's still getting worse. I don't know what to do. Maybe if you spoke to your parents and told them how it was affecting you, they could take steps to avoid it. I'll doubt they'll listen because they're too busy arguing with each other. Yeah, but they're still your parents, and they still care for you, so that's important. I started drinking when my mother passed away, and my dad took it really badly and, abu and started abusing me and my sisters. It was a lot to handle at such a young age. I would wait for him to pass out and then steal his alcohol. It was the only way I could escape from the abuse he gave me. In the end, we all got put into care. I would go out, meet my friends, and they'd buy me alcohol, but I've lost all my real friends. They can't put up with me anymore. I, on I only go out with these chavs who are old enough to buy me alcohol. I never really want to go anywhere unless there's alcohol there. I drink in the mornings before college and I have mood swings and get really aggressive when I don't drink. Obviously this is a very serious problem that's affected you and your sisters, but now you're in care and away from your dad, you can get better.
I disconnected myself from all social media uh, sites to prevent people from being able to contact me and um, continue saying the things they were. I also talked things over um, with my ex and uh, we're just friends now. Uh, I've moved on and yeah, things are looking a lot brighter. That's great, Josh. It's good to see you've distanced yourself from the people that are giving you troubles and now you can move on with your own life and forget about them. Well, it's been easier to ignore the teasing. I met a guy and he really seems to like me. It's really good that you've moved on from all this trouble and that you've found somebody who likes you for who you are, without judging you. My parents have been getting along with each other now, which makes it a lot more easier for me. and Everything's a lot more under control now. If you continue to come and see us, then we can continue to support you and help you as a group. I live with my auntie now and uh, I'm never afraid of doing something wrong. I've also got a job, so the pocket money's there. You've all learned something the last few months. Everyone's had their ups and downs, but you've pulled through together as a team. You've all addressed your issues face to face and dealt with them. And for that guys, you should be proud of yourselves. So we need to progress from here. And with the help you've received from us, hopefully you can turn your lives around. Rumors are just stories.